Hello party people, it is Will Pemble. This is a quick video, but what I want to show you is that I've got a lot of the Dragon respiration system done, and I think we might actually get this thing to breathe fire now, so... Um, you want a quick tour? Give you a really quick tour before we get into it? Let me give you a quick tour. Real quick, I'm not building any of this for you today, but basically what we have here is we have the spark generator, which didn't work last time because it wasn't really strong enough. So what I did was I took four batteries, and it's called a 2P2S configuration. I've got two ba batteries in par two batteries in series, which is one after another, and then I ganged those two pairs up to be two in parallel. So I've got uh, three volts and much more powerful, a little bit more amperage because I've got three volt batteries side by side. And so that's really a 2P2S configuration. There's my six volt battery, which controls the solenoid. There's the Dragon control system. And I'll just give you a quick demo. If I run the south pole over this Hall effect sensor, right? So what happens is the solenoid opens, or the sparks start, the solenoid opens, the solenoid closes, the sparks stop. And that's the whole system. And then I've got the whole thing set up and plumbed with propane. It'll also work with uh, liquid CO2. So if we had a passenger riding this thing, the, the dragon would breathe uh, frozen carbon dioxide. And so it would just go and breathe steam instead of fire. But I really want to see it breathe fire. So I'm going to try to do that right now. Watch. Not totally reliable yet. <laughs> Maybe you just need more. <laughs> that is so awesome. Let's look at it from a, another perspective, shall we? This is for sure one of these don't try this at home types of things, but uh, here we go. So here's the nostrils, right? Here's the nostrils of the thing. So. This is not getting old anytime soon. Okay, so now imagine that's the that's the nostrils of the dragon. Okay, one more. Okay, that's, that's the whole video for the day. I'm gonna, uh, I just, I had to show it to you. I've been working on it and I've still got some electronics to work on. I've got to get those sparks to work perfectly. I may use completely independent spark generators. There's a bunch of things I want to do to make it, make it awesome. But, uh, you know, for now, Okay. All right. That's it for the day. Thank you for helping me being physics family and fun to kids everywhere. Please like, please subscribe, please share. Uh, special shout out to the East Bay Mini Maker Fair, which is going to be over on the uh, on the Berkeley side of the uh, right out right on the East Bay of San Francisco. I'm looking forward to 
building this coaster and showing it at the East Bay Mini Maker Fair. So um, stay tuned for that. I'll give you guys a shout out on the uh, on the Facebook and all that sort of stuff. Thanks for helping me again. Thanks again for helping me bring Physics Family and Fun to Kids everywhere. I will see you soon.